Hi, I'm Tracy Hatton from Resilient Organisations. Investing in resilience for the private sector is really, really important. When you businesses, for many people, are, it's like their baby. You grow a business, you are incredibly invested in it, it is your baby. And when you have a baby, you invest in its future. You look after it, you make sure it's going to grow and live a happy life. Investing in resilience for a business is the same principle. This is your baby. You need to make sure that it is sustainable, and that it is going to be around for you in another 20 years' time. Investing in resilience is easy to do, and if we can make it uh, easier for SMEs to do it, they're more likely to do so. SMEs can be better informed about the importance of disaster resilience by more education, by making it easy for them to get the information that they need, and by making the information right-sized for SMEs. The programs that we roll out to make sure that our large institutions and that our infrastructure is resilient aren't necessarily relevant to the SMEs. They need information that suits their, um, their level. Um, they don't need to fill in forms. They don't need to do checklists. They need to develop a mindset about what are the risks that might impact on their business and what are the, the sometimes very small steps that they can do to mitigate against those risks. It's important to support the collaboration of communities, governments and the private sector in responding and recovering from a disaster. When we have a major disaster such as occurred in my hometown in Christchurch, New Zealand, everybody was in the same boat. Everybody needed to work together to get the basics to start, to start off with in the first couple of days, to support each other, to hug each other, to cry together and then to get on with the process of picking up on lives. It didn't matter whether you were the CEO of the major corporation or the cleaner in the local school. You were all coming from damaged homes, you were all dealing with electricity, water, sewage, and you were all in it together to get your community back up and running.